Okay, today I'm going to cover a very basic introduction to Bloomberg and how to use the Bloomberg screen. Um, you, once the Bloomberg screen is started, it will look like this. Uh, it's basically a, a blank screen. And after that, you can actually uh, have to start typing in the different codes uh, that uh, to activate uh, the functionality that you like to use. Now, before I start going into it, uh, into details, I'd like to introduce you to um, a website uh, whereby all the details, a more in-depth introduction to Bloomberg is actually uh, included here. Um, it's under fsrc.blogspot.com and uh, you can actually go into it and look for introduction dash to bloomberg.html. Now this um, file here, this PDF here, lists down all the different functional functions those codes uh, that for you to actually search for the information that you need. Uh, I'm going to go through and highlight a few of these today. Uh, not all of them. It's just too much to go through today. I'm just going to highlight a few things and um, and then talk a bit in details just to uh, give you a, a brief idea and uh, get a feel of how Bloomberg works. Alright, let's dive into it. Now the first function that you're quite likely to use a lot is uh, NSE. Um, now this is one of the capabilities of uh, Bloomberg is that as soon as you type in the code it actually have a drop down box and you can actually select the one that is closest to what you need uh, what I want is actually new search now under new search you can actually uh, choose ticker meaning the um, short code for the company or topics or companies or you can look at for uh, related functions or what is actually hot now <coughs> What I can do is uh, I can look for companies and look for SIA, uh, Singapore Airline, and type SB. Again, the drop down uh, helps you to find what you need quickly. So select that and just update. And all the information about Singapore Airline or related to the industry of airline industry will come up, as you can see here. Now, these are ordered uh, in the order of arranged in the order of uh, most recent. Uh, 5.30 is the latest information and you can see the date that's being uh, published there uh, and to the older one which is uh, at the bottom. Uh, all of these you can actually uh, rearrange. You can look for um, information from topic, person, industry, region. Again you can actually change the code and uh, select the source, uh, all the sources, Bloomberg only, uh, whatever you like and the language you can select whatever languages you want and you can also select the relevance of the information that you need from low to high and all of these you can save there are a lot more uh, functionality there I won't actually go into it today so that's NSE so the next one is read okay read actually highlights some of the um, news as well uh, if you want to know the exact definition the most popular news that is actually uh, being popped up uh, right now most but that you know that people read right now uh, the top news today is the oil bonds gain on Libya turmoil and as well as uh, stocks and Kiwi dollar drop because of the earthquake uh, in Christchurch right uh, again where you can actually uh, put in future um, and the period that you wanted so instantly you can actually look for historical events okay like the financial crisis or going back further uh, if you want to okay another functionality you can look for is actually what companies in the news uh, what are the major topics right now and people that is in the news as well so this is the function called read the next one is top Okay, top is uh, top news as well. Okay, but it highlights slightly different. Uh, the layout is slightly different. Again, you can see all is in, uh, on top here. This is uh, ranked the order worldwide, worldwide stories. Uh, once again, you can actually select the actual uh, layout that you wanted and the information that you wanted uh, that that interests you. Now, with all of these, you can actually save and come back to it, uh, or being alerted or set alert uh, that is of interest to you, especially if you're trading stocks or uh, FX or anything that relate to what you are doing okay the next one okay is CN is actually specific to company news now earlier I've chosen Singapore Airlines so if I type CN the information relating to Singapore Airlines will come up this is what I actually pull up just now so uh, again this is something that you can actually look at and uh, what I want to progress further now is STAT this is um, news as well okay so and uh, it actually gives you the global statistics uh, from macro data uh, you know macro economics data to market data energy and commodities and tables and rankings now um, take for example global market cap uh, it gives you the ranking uh, in the order of size from uh, regional uh, 
focus for Americas US is the largest and is largest in the world as well uh, look at the size of this is that uh, is roughly 1.6 trillion dollars um, it makes up almost a quarter 25% uh, of the world market cap All right that's uh, a brief rundown on news next thing that I'm gonna touch on is economic uh, indicators and also economic news the function is called ECST okay that I want to introduce to you world economic statistics you can actually select the country that you want to do your research on take for example United States uh, these are all the information that will come out now before you use this you, it requires a little bit of um, understanding about uh, macroeconomics uh, it will help you immensely um, GDP for example gross domestic product uh, the breakdown of GDP in its own um, different segments and also look at labor uh, employment and unemployment statistics sales relating to um, consumer spending all the other information are listed here uh, should you interested in it you can actually drill into all of these individually one by one okay the next one Next code I want to uh, introduce to you is ECO, Economic Release Calendars, the date that uh, the economy uh, indicators are being released. Now, this is arranged in the order of um, release that's coming up. Okay, so S&P 500, oh, sorry, S&P and K-Shilling Home Priced, okay, this is um, going to be released, um, not in the not too, not too distant future. The time they will be released is 2200, okay, that's 10 o'clock. Right now it's 1758, so in a couple of hours' time it will be released. What period is it relating to? December, okay, it's relating to the month of December. Okay, it also gives you information of prior. Um, some of them have survey data. Uh, again, once again, you can actually select by date, you can select by region, and then the country that you're interested in, and also what type of uh, information uh, are you interested in. Okay, with all of these, you can set alert, you can actually export it to your Outlook calendar to remind yourself what is coming up. Um, now, there's a very interesting function here, if I click onto this, okay, it goes in, alright, it, it actually... Uh, highlights what has been for the last 10 years going back to 2001 okay and um, you know the green line uh, tells you the the actual latest survey and the red line is what is actually the latest data available so these are all the useful information now there is uh, ECO the next one is ECFC this uh, economic forecast okay ahead of time now the um, amber characters or the figures that is in amber are actual data as is stated here the white one are forecast all right so um, once again these are the information that is useful and uh, this is uh, Singapore you can choose whatever countries um, that uh, Bloomberg has uh, available right that is a brief a very brief introduction to economic and I'm just going to cover one more uh, segment um, before uh, I, I stop this uh, recording and we're going to go into other areas <coughs> in the next video Right. <coughs> if you want to understand the broad market perspective, MMR, okay, is uh, market rate monitors, okay, money market or the short-term interest rates. Again, we'll look at United States. Okay, let's just go into domestic BTMM. Okay, these are the Treasury market. It gives you the Fed fund rate, which is a very very short term. A U.S. Treasury bill, okay, and the U.S. bond. Um, all of these information: four weeks, three months, six months, once year, one year, or the actual current yield. All right, it tells you the yield. Yield meaning interest rate: 0 0.06%, 0 0.09, 0 0.14, 0 0.25. All very very low. Okay, if you look at the, the bonds, now these are showing you the maturity date so 2013 if you minus off today is 20 uh, this year uh, right now is two, 2011 that's two years away so that's a two-year bond uh, roughly two year as uh, 0.69 three-year bond 1.21 so going up further all the way to 30 years 4.6 okay so that's one way to um, uh, understand uh, how to actually uh, use this uh, table here. There are other information available uh, should you want to use them like spot rate, uh, spot or foreign exchange rate, the key rates, the um, swap rates, these are all available here as well on this uh, functionality. Right, okay, the next one I want to introduce you to CRR. 
Uh, what is CRR? CRR is actually commodity rank returns. Okay, as you can see, commodity rank returns. This is a range according to UB UBS Bloomberg CMCI index. It breaks it down: cotton, nickel, coffee, gas, oil. The best performance so far this year. All right, going back to uh, 2010, December 31st until February 22nd. In this short two months, almost three months, um, cotton has rallied 30 <coughs> 35 percent. Excuse me. 35% substantially and uh, going back down all the way to natural gas has actually a suffer loss there so this is actually a very good brief eye view of all the uh, commodity performance now it is at this point that I will stop and uh, the next video I'm going to start going into bond and equity into a little bit more details thank you for paying attention